Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are playing Portal Knights. The last episode, we took out the great beast, the dragon. And that was an exciting fight, huh? And off camera, I collected the some of the, or I think all of the uh, items that's going to get me the new armor. And I think I upgraded this station. It's gold. So I can make better magics and whatnot and as you see on my number five slot I have a heal spell and I got the greater heal which heals me 196 health all right, let's check this out here oh, wrong one all right so look at all these magics I got altered uh, three next one's four sun diamonds and titanium bars I haven't found titanium yet but look at all these spells. You get like a planetary strike, poison rain, greater lightning, light bomb. That sounds crazy. Or this planetary strike. It makes a burst of light energy in a small radius that restores 6% health to friendly targets and deals light damage to enemies. Uh, that's kind of cool. 148. Masterwork heal. 474. But look at that mana use. 5 second cast time. Yeah, that's a lot of mana. Restores uh, that uh, 474 health and jumps to a nearby friendly target. Restores half of that. Usage requires character level 22. Greater Frost Storm. Then you got uh, Alter 2. And Alter 1. So what I would like to do in this episode is uh, build the, ar uh, the armor that I was trying to build last time. And... I would like to go explore because after the dragon boss we got all these new levels opened up here look at all these levels and our uh, quest today is see how far we can get and uh, explore do some adventuring and see if we can find any new uh, like platinum or any new things as such but we're not going to do the final boss for a while until we get as maxed out as we possibly can. Never fought this boss before, so I don't know what his special technique is to fighting him. What is this? A meteor strike? Asteroid impact. Okay. There's only one type of metal here, or mineable, if you will. I can't check these. These are here. Alright. So, I put all my... I think I put all the required in here. So, I got 18 silk cloth. I got blazing embers. I'm not sure if I need these or not. Now, I collected up these water bombs. I want to do some quests, actually. I need to catch up on those because we left a bunch of quests in the... You know, as we went along. Now what I wanted to build here was the scoundrel set, this uh, ceaseless set, I don't think it was as powerful as say the scoundrel, C-150, this is 140, 225, 225 for that, this is 300, let's see, arms is 56, 75, so yeah it's all an upgrade, legs 168, 225 and I still I uh, don't get my double jump back which kind of sucks let me guess this, this lower level set has jump, double jump yep but I can't I don't want to wear this this is lower I want the highest possible all right so let's build this set scoundrel hood yeah I still need the blazing ambers It still sounds like a marble rolling around it, a, a like a groove in a table. Scoundrel set. This is definitely going to help me out when we're moving forward because the islands will become more difficult, if you will. Alright. Well. We got ourselves a new set of armor. It says 20% chance to reset spell cooldown 
when inflicting a critical strike. Neat. I guess I'll help out my uh, curing spell. Back. All right, 150, 225 to 300. This gives me 80 health. This one gave me 60. And that one gives me 60. This one had me 50. 225. And this does not give me double jump. I missed my double jump. Yes, the developers thought, okay, double jump is not that useful, so we'll only have it on some of the armor. Well, I kind of look like a uh, an assassin or something with a, a BA cape. Look at that cape. Not to mention my dragon. All right. Well, we got that built. And I think we have the highest. Oh, yeah. I was going to build the scalpel, wasn't I? So I needed three silk and three barden emerald dust. Actually, that doesn't look like dust. So I got the masterwork longbow, I, if I believe, yeah, sure do. Alright, let's go put away this stuff here. I think what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to start out doing, uh, going back and doing quests. I, thought, I think that sounds like a good idea. Actually, I'm going to keep that all mixed. I want to see if we can build that poison knife. I said I wanted to do it last episode. I didn't have the required requisites to do so. I already forgot. I'm an old man, so I already forgot what I needed. Right, besides gold. Three gold, three silk, and Varden Emerald. My brain don't work like it used to. Alright, so Varden, Varden Emerald. Here we go. Need to make dust out of this. And I need some silk. Oh, silk was in... No, we walked a little too far. There we go. Yeah, I need three of each. I don't have to worry about enemies trying to backstab me back here because I got that thing, which is awesome. And this thing allows you to make the Vargent stuff or the the dust. So I need blood and two and a three. -a. And a one and a two and a three. <laughs> you take it too long, man. I got adventuring to do. People are waiting. They want to see what's next. Or how these quests are. Okay. And there we go. Done. This poison knife better be useful. We're good. Alright. So, golden scalpel. 133 damage compared to... 33 same damage does earth elemental damage strong versus electro melee damage plus 40 and melee damage resistance plus four it looks cool though look at that thing all right 12 percent chance to reset spell cold on yet which could be useful because i do have this now Alright, time to put some of this stuff up. We gotta have an empty inventory if you're gonna go adventuring. Oh, let's go adventuring with a full inventory. That does just does not work, I can tell you right now. Alright. Well, where do I put this? My inventory is not quite not new item friendly if you will yeah. Yeah. go to third person view don't go to the dirt go to go to dagger i definitely look like an assassin now check that out assassin all day and everything you look at says open interact or something here come here dude hey slimy slime Ooh. Ooh. Dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Slash. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is so messed up. 
my entire family got sick pretty much all at once. It was lame. So I got a bow and I got my dagger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch places here. Put this here. And I have these two next to each other and we'll try to use them both if I remember to do so. I'm very used to using uh, the number one key is my attack key. Alright, let's go here. Check out that media thing. I kind of want to go back after we go here and check out any quests that we left behind. This should be easy now. I haven't built the mining claw or the drill, which is only used for dirt. Mining lots of gems. Okay, so the claw is for gems. Neat. 50 minutes left. Ah, there's some gold. That's the only resource. No, there's two resources here, because you got this. Yeah, I do need this for something in the future. I think I got plenty at the moment, too. Gold. Yeah, gold is everywhere here. Nice place looks hospitable, right? <laughs> yeah. But we do need to catch up on all those quests we left behind. I don't like leaving stuff behind, not unless I absolutely can't do it. Like timed quests. Man, so it's gonna be hard to use. There we go. At night, my slimes don't seem to work very well. You gotta be careful of those dudes when they when you kill the fire dudes. They leave some fire literally on top of you. And I don't like how they destroy the land around you. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of. Because I want to keep the land as it is when I first get here, and I don't want to have it all like pot potholed everywhere, like this, just potholes. All right, does this place have uh, palm fruit? I'm looking for palm fruit. We do have these. These give you fruits. I'm looking for palm fruit. So I'll be up in the trees. You'll see the fruits hanging out there and I just don't see anything man Ooh, that looks that does not look good down there yeah it is a hole we're staying out of the hole for right now <laughs> there's certain limits to adventuring okay guys when a hole looks scary stay away from it good advice it's a good idea to take these guys out, these guys out at range Because they try to charge at you and blow up. You want you want you want knife? I'm gonna try to backstab him. Yeah, a backstab. I wasn't close enough for first hit. Second hit counted. The knife doesn't seem as useful to use out here because uh, the stuff is these enemies are tough. They got a lot of health and armor. That don't look that don't look safe at all. Look at all this gold, so I can just come here and get all the gold I need. We can't ride the minecart? Oh. What a tease. What's this say? Vermits. Beware. You got vomits. So many varm uh, vomits. Did I say vomits? <laughs> So many vomits that doesn't even make any sense. Well, this is the end of the road, huh? Does lead outside. Probably fall down to your death. Yeah, I found some of this off camera the other day. And I found one on camera if I do remember so. That this uh, crystal thread, I don't know what it's used for. But I did find some of it off camera. 
pretty neat. It's probably for the next upgrades for weapons or armor making. We still didn't find the crater hole. Maybe it's that hole I just found that I said nope. Uh, it's got to be like something that's easily seen that looks like a crater. That's not really a crater. That's just hole. Alright, so these will give you some kind of fruit as well, like blazing berries. Yeah, blazing berries. That's probably one of the next uh, potion upgrades. Well, the, the poison knife is okay, but it's very short range. Only use it in emergencies. That's my uh, my take on the poison knife so far. Well, it's not really a poison knife, is it? I'm so used to hitting the uh, number two key to go to my uh, pickaxe, but I moved it. <laughs> sort of confused me for a while, because I like having my hot bars in any game like set up a certain way and I use that pretty much throughout the entire game so I don't get confused but here I go changing it right silly me poison knife for you it's very fast though Did you see that oh! and my mouse just hit the base of my monitor Damn, that's very satisfying though. Hey dude, you just have to be really close to them or you're going to miss your hits. Let me get my mouse back. Whoa dude. Smack. Smack. That is actually quite satisfying. If you get if you get a hang of the uh, dodging me mechanic in here, and you have your timings just right, you just go right through them and just backstab them like crazy. Let's see what we're gonna find in this place. Now these guys, I do not want to hit them with a knife because they'll charge at me, and explode. I don't think I'm gonna do enough damage before they literally hit me and explode. We'll go ahead and get all these. Every time I open one of these up, I remember on the PS4 version, I go into this room, there'll be a chest like right here. If I go into here now, it's just an empty room with junk in it. Look at this. Being ripped off. Did get a nice bench though. Alright guys, so I'm gonna... I got some sinus problems here, which sounds absolutely gross, but I gotta get rid of it. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Just took a second for you dudes. I'm gonna cut all that little bit out. But I can't, you know, I can't be commentating if I'm gonna have, you know, some bad stuff going on. Doesn't work that way. Let's take out one. Hey man. I'm gonna take out one of these guys with a uh, bow and then the knife. The knife is satisfying though. Saddest. I'm too too close to figure out what how much damage I'm doing. I'm doing a pretty good amount of damage if you look at that. His health went down pretty quick. But this thing is quick though. Look at that. It is quick. So you know that they need to add like his shields and stuff. I know this game was made a few years ago, so it's not like it's new. And I don't know if the developers are still adding stuff to this game. To be honest with you. But I think they should add like shield system. Be like Dark Souls. Now that's a game. That, that's a game franchise I really like. But I I suck at it. I love the lore and the story. Of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. But I just absolutely suck at it. I think everybody does though. It just takes practice. Most people give up on that game. They just don't give themselves a chance. I love the Dark Souls series. That lore, the story, the crazy stuff you find, the adventuring. That's what I love. But that danger though, <laughs> that danger is extreme. 
Nope, nope. Oh, just got him right at the last second. One pot. Yay. It's a pretty good sized dungeon. Here I am. I'm telling you guys I needed to go and complete all them quests we left behind. Here I am dungeon delving. What a liar I am, right? I can't help it, guys. Dungeon delving's awesome. And lots of fun. Alright, after this dungeon, we're going to probably head on. Actually, I didn't check out that, um, that meteor. Got him. I can't help it. When I see dungeons, guys, I just want to go down and be like, what am I going to find? Am I going to find some cool armor? Because a lot of times, uh, these later levels, these, uh, chests have been giving me armor or capes or just something cool. Check these cages because there'll be animals inside you can save. I think I mentioned that before, but why not mention it again? Because save those animals. Oh, look at my inventory already. A mess. What's new, right? <laughs> Alright. Gave me something good. Uh, winter fur. Hey, ice spike trap. Those are new. Ice spike trap. Hey, man. You left my coal up there. Thank you. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warp back up to the surface, do the fast way. We're not gonna walk all the way up. You kidding me, guys? Alright. This game so far has been a lot of fun. I mean, it is pretty fun. There's some stuff I would like to see added to it, you know, or improved upon, but. I don't know if the developers are still working on this, to be honest. We got our mine, we got us a mine here. Actually, that's the one I cleared out because it was charged right there. Where is this meteor? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we still got that big building. Oh, there's, ah, oh, I see, there's a portal right there. No. No, dude. Leave me alone. Is this the meteor? Kind of looks like the track of a meteor. No, dude. I said no. No means no. Back up, bro. And slice, 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 slice. Oh dang, my dodging skills wasn't quite good enough. Man, you and the fireballs, bro. You're a little too much on that. Yeah, I don't think that the enemy should be able to break the land with their fireballs. I'm not a big fan of that. Look what it does to the landscape. It looks like poo poo. A big, a big dookie. We're gonna try to open this portal real fast. But we still got that place to go to as well. Guys, we're just, just too much. I got too many distractions. And we still got this place. It's a new mine. Ugh. Adventuring. No. Too much. Can't handle it. We gotta leave before we get too distracted and we then like fifty minutes goes by and then nothing is done. We gotta help out the townsfolk, you know. Quest, this seems like the best EXP besides bosses. So it's gonna give me a boost in you know my levels. Alright, where's this go? A rocky crag, huh? This one has two. Pillars of Perrin. Level 22, portals, see, has no portals here? What? This place goes nowhere, see there's no white lines. Means I need to find two more portals going down here. Alright, we're gonna go check it out guys, I can't help it. I don't know about that meteor, maybe it'll come back in the future. I hope so. Gotta move the mic a little bit, seems a little too far away. Got to do the real close talk, you know. The AS, uh, a, uh, what was it? MR, a, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's stupid. Um, what the? Well, that's a neat visual. What is this stuff? Oh, yeah, I need to put back my heel spell. What is this? 
Can I break it? Ah. Oh, crystal thread. Berry bush. A normal berry bush. No, that's not. These are blue. What are these? Glimmer berries. What does this give me? Conundrum. Obsidian stone. C Corundum. This seed will only grow in this natural... Okay, so... It's a seed. That's kind of weird. A rock having a seed. Uh, okay. It's a little confusing, but okay. Uh-oh. We got ourselves some floating slimes. I, st I can hurt them pretty good, though. I hurt them real good, you know what I mean? <laughs> Aha, don't you? I always pass these over, and I just thought they were just some kind of scenic whatnot but they're actually dungeons this place is cool looking it's like this big dome wonder if I can make my way outside if there's anything outside hey frozen bones the frozen and real real cold-hearted man need to calm down and warm up grow heart in there You don't need to be so mean. His face kind of reminds you of the, uh, Doctor Who. Come on. I can't remember what the, I haven't seen Doctor Who in a long time, but those robot guys. Alright. What I'm going to do is that we're going to head towards that dungeon real fast. They're usually quite small. Maybe. Watch it be huge because I'm trying to do other things. This is part of the game right here. Adventuring. But we do need to do quests though. We got a lot of them back there that we left behind. Can't be leaving too many of them behind. Thousand EXP from all these jars? That is crazy. Look at that. Good EXP here. Uh, it's one of the ones that you have to fall down. Uh, Geronimo, right? One door to rule them all. One door to rule them all again. Making sure to check underneath these stairs. You don't know what you can find underneath there. Could be a chest or another door. A hidden room. Uh, another drop down point. Maybe I need to bring out a torch so everybody can see at least. But it's so bright in my screen. Look at that. It's just like. It's crazy. Um, looks like some like alchemist or scientist was living down here. Makes you wonder where did they go? Finding something like this underground kind of reminds me of mist for some reason. Where's Atris? That's uh, one of the main protagonists in mist. He's the one that writes the mist books. Well, it wasn't much down here. It's kind of a wasted effort, I guess. Oh well. We're gonna come back. That place is this place is neat. Kind of want to go out there. Wonder if there's anything on the outside of the world. I can see like bushes and stuff up there. But we're gonna have to come back. Cause I'm gonna start running out of time in the video here. Need to get something done. All right, so let's go to. Let's see here. We're gonna go way back. We're gonna use the way back machine here and let's go find out what quest we got left behind. Oh, we know we left a bunch. So many quests, so little time. And this reminds me, guys, I am getting kinda close to the end of uh, Portal Knights. 
And uh, give me some suggestions to put on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. In the comments below. You think you... Really, dude? You think you're going to... Ooh, hiccup. But apparently that guy thought he was going to win or something. Hey, dude. Slap. You gotta, you gotta, there you go. And he still hit me, really? That's why I think about you hitting me, bro. Right there. Stab, stab, stab. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Alright, you, you don't have a quest for me. There should be... If you discovered the people in a, in a level, let's say like Dusty Junction, it should be able to tell you who has quests. If you've discovered them right, it just should automatically tell you here. So you don't have to travel here to find out. So I can't do anything with this. The game should be a little bit more forthcoming on the quest, you know, quest adventuring, if you will. You know, some kind of place to keep track of that thing. I don't know why I'm killing these enemies that are lame. Look at 120 EXP. Whoa. We're going to be max level very soon with that much EXP. There's uh, a whole bunch of NPCs here, but... I don't need to find... See, I don't see any of the quest markers. The little orange... Instead of that, it has an orange bubble around it. I don't see nothing, yeah. I think I'm done here. So I'm going to move on to Fort Finch. Actually, didn't I complete this place? We're about to find out. We're just going to go moving level to level here. Until we run across our first quest. We'll try to do it and move on from there. And it is a good source of... Oh, I got mail. You got mail. What did I get? More bumblebee stuff? Come on, better, better be something else besides bumblebee. I got the full set of bumblebee, guys. I don't need no more bumblebee. God. God. Special delivery. Swiftness potion times two. Okay. And I don't see any orange bubble. See a lot of shops, but no orange bubble. Moving on to the next level. Let's go to Autumn Springs. And after Autumn Springs, we'll go to the next fork in the road level that was attached to that Fort Finch. Yeah, I remember it correctly that we completed Fort Finch a long time ago, quest-wise. Uh, any orange bubbles? Or did I not discover them yet? <laughs> ah, orange bubble. So if you see this, you discovered the character, they got a quest for you, they always will have this orange bubble around them. What you want, a bow? I'm ashamed to admit it, but the bows I make are, are, below average. Hmm, sad face. Will you make me a better one? Which one do you want? Excellent, mind that it's not too heavy now. So you want a wooden bow, that's easy. Well, let's go make a wooden bow. This is, this is the part of the questing thing they don't like. They, you have the characters that want you to build them. A new weapon or whatnot, and you literally have to go back to your workbench to do it, which is all the way back in your home. There should be some kind of like, well, I guess you can carry your crafting table with you, maybe, but it just takes up another inventory slot. It could work. So that's an idea for you. you could just carry the table with you, but you don't know which one you need to build because you need a different a different table for every type of weapon. This is for warrior. This is for uh, ranger. And I think this maybe makes no. Well, this makes the wood one. Wood bow. There you go. Very simplistic. Very easy. But. Oh yeah, the mage, you have the quest, uh, mage stuff on the, uh, that table right here. So yeah, you gotta carry all three of those different tables. Which takes up three extra slots to your inventory. Your inventory is not that big, in all actuality there. So, you know, you have to 
do some inventory management. Don't know if I can handle this place, guys. I'm, it's level 7. It's pretty high level. Those clouds look so, uh... Out of place, really? And that moon looks like it's out of place. Looks like it's made out of styrofoam. I haven't seen this level of craft work. That's a weird word. Craft work. Before it. Except in books. Even the old timers have forgotten how to make them like this. Thank you. I will cherish it always till it breaks. Look at that. See? Look at that EXP. I was getting a little bit more than this from the worm. This is why it's worth it. Even though these are old quests, you get a little bit of money plus EXP. And that is fine with me. Actually, that wooden bow, I could, probably could have made it in my own inventory, right? No, I can't. Oh, well. I, I think I'm done with the quest here. Looking for orange bubbles. There's probably NPCs I've missed. But the best way to do this is go here. Yep, yeah, we missed one. There's the hunter I just finished. Yeah, we missed one NPC here. I might just go after the NPCs I've already found to save a little bit of time. Because my video is almost out of time, sadly. I know nobody wants to leave. These are these going on these adventures is too much too much awesome. And this game is too much awesome. But there'll be another episode tomorrow. And on Saturday. Alright, let's move on to the next area. I said I was going to go up here. We need to actually find the portals. We got this place has a portal. This place has a portal. They both lead down here. Shrieking sands. Yeah, as soon as you go there, all you hear is like shrieking and wailing and whistling very loudly in both ears. Be like that, that uh, dragon egg that uh, Harry Potter found. Or one from that, uh, that competition. And then he opened it and he's like, Screech! Return to Aconite. What? I never returned to you when I completed all this stuff? You got the relic. That must have been a harrowing experience. I'll entrust its safety to you. Just be careful. If the well being of the great beast, beast is linked to the plant like the. Texts say the fracture must have done a number on them. They may not be happy to see you. Were they good people? Like the, uh. Really? Got ourselves a new pet. But the. She's saying that great beasts were friendly at one, to at one time or another. We got cracky. <laughs> but dragon, though. Alright, we gotta check out cracky. Alright, Cracky, you're coming with me for a little while. Why not? I do like the dragon, though. For sure. That's some neat looking stone right there. Think about building a house and you have these as accents. Alright, moving on. Gonna play for a few more minutes. Then our time's out. That was activated. Any more quests? You want anything? I don't see any orange bubbles though. But I could have just not discovered them. Let's see. Yeah, we got everybody, never mind. Alright, moving on to Orson Arch Orchards. Gonna be the last place before we end the episode. Next episode, uh, we're gonna do some more quests. <clears throat> Maybe open up a new portal or two going forward. But mainly quests. We do need to get caught up on this stuff. Okay, that one place I left was level 7. This is level 5. I've been here like so many times. Uh, yeah, we've been here a lot. <coughs> Garnet Peaks. Now this place has a portal coming from it. At least down below. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my, my face here. My face is in bad shape. With all this cold and stuff going on. 
I just got over a sickness, guys, and I get sick again. It's so bad. That's what happens when you have kids, right? They go to school and everybody shares all the germs. Germ sharing all over the place. Uh, I don't see any orange bubbles, but it could be ones I have not seen. Let's see here. Yeah, we missed one here too. Funny Jungle. That guy sells the uh, pets. You can actually carry them. This symbol right here tells you that you can take this shop guy and carry him with you. Take him where you want. Plane as planes of passage. To be honest with you guys, I said I was going to build something on my island. I have not done nothing on my island. If you're wondering. Which I need to. I need to start building something. A big castle or something on there. It's just been too busy at the moment. Uh, any, oh, we got orange bubble. They need to open that one mission up that I failed before because I was not high enough level. Those guys were kicking my butt. The uh, island with all the jade and stuff. What's up, Sammy the Smelter? I am in desperate need of copper ore. If you'll bring me some, I'll smelt some copper bars for you. Really, dude? Please hurry. The customers that cater to I don't cater are... I cater to don't. Does that make any sense to me? Please hurry. The customers I cater to don't like it or take it lightly when I am late for my quota. Oh, does that sound like it wasn't even finished? Oh well. Alright, let's. How many do you want? Eight copper ore? I don't think there's copper here at all, is there? Let's see. Nope, of course there's not. That'll be too easy. Way too easy. What's worth it though is just doing these quests, you get EXP. It may be smaller numbers, but you could get bigger numbers too. And it all adds up. So that's what I'm after. Money not a big issue either. Eh, sticky keys, of course. Worst freaking thing invented. I'm gonna cut that out. I'll keep the audio in. Why is sticky keys there? Why can't I not get rid of it? Why is it stuck in my inventory forever? Or on my computer? And it needs to be deleted because it's awful. <coughs> and I'm coughing. I got bad problems. Hope oh, I don't want to do that. It's just going to water. Any more potions I can throw in there? Try to get rid of this inventory mess I got here. I got one heck of a mess too. One heck of a mess. This is my misc chest. Random stuff like scrolls and whatnot. Swiftness potion. That's a lot of swiftness potions. Alright, I got the your stupid copper. Lame. You know copper's old old school now? Let's see if we can complete this quest before uh why am I going back to Garnet Peaks? I didn't want to go there. I need to go to a place above it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that sticky keys out. Lame. Oh, you pushed, you pushed, uh, shift too many times, huh? Well, sticky keys, haha. -ha. That's all I see every time that happens. Very, very bad. And I don't even know what sticky keys is even used for. I know it's used for something, but it's something like, kind of like, uh, a macro, maybe? A macro for setting up certain keys that you want to that you use very frequently or something I don't know but it sucks that should be enough to appease the folks around here for now I don't know why I got confused on his sentence he gave me earlier maybe because I'm sick my mind's not working as good as it's supposed to be I'm like a zombie just like that all zombified 
You know how when you're sick, you're just like, Alright guys, well, I'm out of time here. We, I, I let it go on for a little longer than I usually would. Just because I want to get at least one more quest done. I'm not doing, what? You're targeting the wrong dude, dude. Not very smart on that. Targeting system that doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. Whoa, look at that damage. Alright guys, well, if you'd like to join the Meerkat Nation, or the Meerkat family, either way works for me. Uh, hit that subscribe button and join today. My subscribers have been stuck at 13 or 14 for months and it never goes up, so I would like to see somebody, you know, take that chance. Give me a chance by subscribing. And, uh, if you like my commentary, besides all the sickness right now, if you like my commentary, you find it funny, helpful, or entertaining, hit that like button to show your support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button because I'm still learning, guys. Give me a chance here. Nobody's giving me a chance. My channel is still at 14 subscribers. But I do appreciate all 14 of those subscribers. And thank each and every one of you very much. And uh, next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad. And that's the exclusive club, so if you hit that button, you get notified of everything I upload, so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.